Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We have a different type of video for you guys today. We are at the Carnegie Science Center, as you can tell behind me, and we're gonna show you around, we'll give you a review of some of the new stuff. We just had to deal with a ton of traffic, roads were blocked, but we're finally here. We're here with some family, everybody's in the cars and stuff. So we're gonna get out, go inside, and show you guys around. So Okay, so what you're seeing here, this is the, like, the new guitar exhibit that the Science Center has. Uh, we were super excited to see this, and honestly, we were a little disappointed. Uh, they have a bunch of different things, including this. It has a couple different performances by some famous guitarists, which was kind of neat to see, especially if you didn't know too much about them. The room was lined with all the guitars, and some more of these pictures here with some of the guys with their, with their famous guitars, which we're neat to read about. Uh, some of these guys I've honestly never even heard of, but they had some of these cool guitars here, just like this silver one here. See me in the reflection. This was really cool. This was a 3D printed guitar, and pretty neat to see this one, actually. There was also one other cool guitar that I'll show you here in a few. Yep, 3D printed guitar. Now here's some more guitars going around the room. Now the reason I say we were disappointed, uh, my wife and I thought there was going to be more hands-on stuff since that's what the science center is all about. And I also thought there was going to be a lot more guitars from a lot of the more famous musicians, some of their guitars here, which that really wasn't the case. But this guitar right here was signed by B.B. King, that was one of the cooler ones. And there was also one on the other side too, which I'm not sure if I showed, you might see in the next clip or so. But there was one, another famous guitarist guitar. There's the BB King signature right there. So pretty cool guitar with that. Now this one here is probably the coolest guitar in the whole thing. This is the air guitar. Now if everybody doesn't know, it's an imaginary guitar. And they kind of had an empty case for it. But it was kind of, like, I didn't, we didn't expect that one. And we were kind of excited for that. Some more guitars here. Yeah, some more pictures on the wall. This guitar here is cool, which I'm going to show you. Right there, that's the world's biggest playable guitar. And then this thing is a little odd, too. I didn't read the instructions at first, so whenever I spun it, I didn't know why it was doing anything. But you can see a little bit. But then once I read it right now, oh, you got to look through these slots on the side. And you can see how it changes the different images right there. So that was pretty cool. Kids had fun playing with that thing there. You get to see how that worked. And then also over here, there was another little interactive thing. Just some different number of and there's some records. Page. Next exhibit here, uh, it was a, it's like a water exhibit with some insects also, just a bunch of cool things, but honestly, this one's been here a long time. So if you've been to the Science Center, you probably have seen this in the past few years. Kids enjoy looking at some of the cool stuff. Uh, there's some toilets that talk, talk about flushing and about using the amount of water. Kids did really what really to expect with that. Also, we have a submarine here at Pittsburgh, the Science Center. You can go take tours of that and walk all throughout it, but we didn't do it. Yeah, that's actually kind of neat. Those are like our guys. In that flooding clip, we can see. You're okay, let's go push around.
hopefully you guys can hear me talking. If not, I will be doing a voiceover, which I really don't want to do. But this room is pretty, pretty large all the way down. It actually has day and night. So we turn the lights on now that it's day. This is pretty much the winter theme. All the snow. And here comes the train. Yeah. Over here is kind of more like the fall area. This is where like the cold meals and everything go up. I mean, let's see how each individual house. Let's see if I can zoom in on some of this detail. I mean, the detail on these buildings are crazy. Look right there, guys. I promised the train heading into the tunnel. Then you have this massive mill over here. Right in the center, another train coming by. I think this is just past us. This one's so cool. It is daytime right here. Man. This is where they were making steel. So this is the area of steel. Here they have a TV out. They have a camera on front of the train. It's going around. Really cool for the younger viewers to see the perspective from the train. You know, you see the detail all the town. Right there. Really cool. Here we have the railroad strike. This is pretty cool. This is all the trains stop running. Really, really cool. I actually used to, looks like there's still water over there, it's not 100% sure. This room is so massive, and just a really cool room. One of our favorite rooms in this whole area. Look, you can see inside the store over here. In the stadium of Q tip heads. Really interesting fact in this. These are all little Q tip heads right there. These look like people. This town might be one of my favorite things. All right here. Kamani Brothers, right here. But also, guys, I'm going to point right here. This little steeple right here. You probably have seen this in our video a few times. That is Old Economy Village in Amherst, Pennsylvania. Really, really cool. Really, really cool. But you've seen that in our videos a few times. And maybe if I remember to, I'll throw a picture up of it right now. That is the incline, which we've seen that in our videos also. Really, really cool. Building. Time it, I think it takes to do all this is crazy. So, taking flight. I like this one. Maybe that one isn't there. Well, ask that guy. Yeah. Let's see. I saw this later. You could pet it. Oh, you know, in the day to be tired. You need the second floor. You got it. Okay, head back. You got it, Paul. Okay guys, a little sneak peek. This floor right here is the same floor that the train exhibit is on. This is where the robots used to be. Right over there is where the robot used to shoot basketballs. And it's everything like that. But this floor now, in the fall of 2022, it is going to be a Mars exhibit. So come and check out the Science Center in the fall and hopefully you can see what it's like living on Mars.